Welcome to Data Wrangling in Spotfire 10. Unlike generic data visualization or dashboard tools, Spotfire 10 provides the deepest and most versatile capabilities without compromise. In this short series of videos, we will demonstrate data access, model-based data preparation, transformations such as replaced value, grouping marked data and splitting columns, changing data types and adding a calculated column, as well as automatic data lineage, adding and replacing data sources, and joining multiple data sources. Spotfire's unique and unified approach to data wrangling and analytics ensures faster and easier data access, streamlined processes with no back and forth between multiple tools, and an agile environment with visual data governance, all while being completely in line. This is Spotfire 10's redesigned user interface. Immediately, you see the long list of out-of-the-box connectors available. The first example will be importing a text file containing sales data. Upon selecting the file, we are prompted with import settings where we can declare the name row or rows to ignore. While Spotfire will automatically detect which data type is best fit for each column, you can change the data type as needed. You can choose to keep the data external or import into the analysis. If importing, you can apply a wide selection of data transformations even before beginning your analysis. We will start visualizing the data by selecting the profit and region columns. Spotfire's AI recommendation engine generates suggested visualizations based on the data. Here a bar chart of each region's profit will do. We see there is a data integrity issue from the source. There are two columns, one named Southwest and the other one SW. These are the same region and we can quickly select both and right click to group as one column. Continuing the analysis, we not only want to see the profit of each region, but the costs. Currently there is no column for costs. Using an add calculated column, we can create a new column to our data table. Any column or property data can be used when creating a new column. There is also a wide array of functions, each with a description on how to use them. In this case, we are simply subtracting the profit column from sales. Before clicking OK, we can preview the data to ensure the intended results. Let's look at the cost by region and set profit, and we see while the Southwest had the highest profit, the Northeast region had the highest cost. Let's look at this further by creating a detailed visualization. In one click, we have a drill down controlled by the original bar chart. Instead of having region on the x-axis, we'll switch to subcategories of our products. Now by adding profit in addition to the recently created calculated column to the y-axis, we have a better understanding of why the costs are so high in the northeast region. The refrigerators are not currently profitable. So far we have grouped two columns as well as added a calculated column. In the next part of this series, we will review the data canvas and automatic data lineage replace the existing data source, and change data types.